I'm William, reporting for the Fun Robotics Network. I'm here with Team 18228, the Red Bob Felders. They have a fantastic rookie robot. They have an active server-powered intake. They have an awesome transfer that allows for easy delivery from the back, all packaged up in a red, red robot. All on behind the bar. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Studica Robotics is everything your team needs to build, learn, and compete. Check out their FTC starter kit, intake hub kit, and odometry wheel options at studica.com slash robots. Teams in the USA can get up to 25% off and apply for grants at studica.com slash robots. So when you first entered the season, what was your main approach for it? So our main approach was to spam the high baskets because they were the most effective and the quickest way to basically gain points. And that was because specimens sometimes takes too long to do. So we would just go for high baskets and that's the most effective method. So would, would you be able to explain how your intake overall works? Oh. Right, sure, William. Um, so we have four spinning compliant wheels powered by um, two super speed servos. Um, along with an additional um, super speed servo uh, spinning the surgical tubing on top. It's like makes it more reliable. <laughs> um, and then it all just pivots on these two shafts here, uh, powered by two BBR um, servos, yeah. So would you be able to explain and showcase off the, the transfer system? Um, yes, yeah, so our transfer system works by using this 3D printed claw that the um, Looney team made uh, called the Looney Core. And so we, it's a modified version. Um, we use tape for additional grip. We can we grab the claw while it's in, the sample while it's in there and then we can lift up our rigging and drop it off at high basket. So what are some of the, uh, the the decisions you made with the, especially regarding your autos and uh, the way you localize? Thank you. Uh, so <laughs> uh, we're using an odometry sensor, the OTOS, uh, for localization that helps with autos. And the, our main auto plan right now is just uh, to get one of the specimens in. And with our programming, we use uh, command-based systems uh, in FTC lib. So you have subsystems which run every individual thing like the intake, the outtake, and just stopping it all together. And then you have a separate command that runs all of those and those can be run in parallel, which was how we get things like our slides to work where we run this arm and also the slides at the same time, which can be done normally. Th thank you very much. So if you guys were to advance to nationals, which is the improvements that you would like to make to this robot? Rylan, would you like to answer that? Yes. If we, if we were to go to nationals, uh, we would have we would aim to get a level two ascent because currently right now we're only doing a level one ascent using. Uh, but if we were to use a level two ascent, we'd use these claws here, uh, these hooks here to hook onto the lower the lower rung. Uh, and also another thing that our robot has are these these three D printed parts that stop samples from getting in inside the robot. And if because if they did, it would render our robot useless because we can only carry one sample at a time. And one final question is, I really like the color red on this robot. What was the, the design choice behind that part? So the color red was because we're the red bot builders, that means you have to have the color red. Another reason is because the anodization actually prevents static because it's basically a layer over the aluminium, so the aluminium can't absorb the electricity. Sadly, before states, we didn't have enough time to anodize our outside state, but it does give it a cool red and silver look. Thank you so much for sharing your robot to today. Good luck with, with the rest of your competition. This has been Team 18228 Red Bot Builders on Behind the Bot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Studica Robotics is everything your team needs to build, learn, and compete. Check out their FTC starter kit, intake hub kit, and odometry wheel options at studica.com slash robots. Teams in the USA can get up to 25% off and apply for grants at studica.com slash robots. First Updates Now has become the Fun Robotics Network. Check us out at funroboticsnetwork.com and all the social links that you see above here. And check out some of our new merchandise options that are both fun and robotics related as well too, both on our website and right underneath this YouTube video.